because of the foreign body, because of the bacteria, it tries to expel it out. I'm telling you, if you are a lukewarm Christian, the Lord will spit you out from His kingdom. Maybe you don't want to be spitted out by the Lord from His kingdom, do you? No. <laughs> okay. This signifies rejection or disqualification from His kingdom. And nobody wants to be disqualified from His kingdom. Okay? Illustration, pregnant, drunk, or food poisoning, I mentioned that already. Who are the lukewarm then? Go back to my previous question. Who are the lukewarm? If the hot ones are the all out ones and the cold ones are the knockout ones, who are the lukewarm? Time out? Okay. First, they are also believers. Uh, they serve two masters. Not much relevant to the topic. Okay. The lukewarm church are, or I, as I said, the lukewarm people or the lukewarm Christians are believers as well. Why? Because this letter has been addressed to the Laodicean church. Church means a community of believers. So the Lord Jesus Christ is referring to a group of people who also believe in Him. Amen? They're not like the, uh, sorry, not, not to mention of, of all other uh, religious beliefs that are not Christians, but they're not like one of them. They're not worshipping idols, but they do believe in God. If you invite them to the prayer meeting, what will they say? Oh, I also know God. Oh, I also believe in God. Yes, you believe in God, but have you checked yourself if you are a lukewarm or not? The lukewarm Christians are not doing anything wrong. If they're not doing anything wrong, what's wrong with being lukewarm? Okay. Okay. In the next point, you'll have an idea. Okay. They're not doing anything wrong, but they're not doing anything right. Yes. You're not doing anything wrong, but have you done anything right? No. Have you done anything wrong? No. Have you done anything right? No. That's lukewarm. Okay, I really They said if you drink you will go to heaven. Do you agree? I'm talking about drinking wine or alcohol. They said if you drink you go to heaven because if you drink you go to sleep. If you go to sleep, you're, you're not, not doing to anything sleep. wrong. If you're not doing anything wrong, you're going to heaven. So if you drink you will go to heaven. That's that's what they said. I really I said but it doesn't mean that you haven't done anything wrong, you are going to heaven. Because you need to do something right in the name of Jesus, although your righteousness, your good deeds, your actions are not the key to be saved. It is the fruit of salvation. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, We have been saved by grace through faith and not the result of our own works so that we could not boast. Are you following me? So if we have been able to do good works, it is the results of being saved. Amen. 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 Okay. They are the ones who are rich and wealthy in their own eyes. Why? Because the Lord says, you say, I am rich, I am wealthy. So they are the lukewarms. People in this country, is not easy to, uh, to invite, to attend to church. Why? Because they've got what they need. Their needs are provided by our taxes, my goodness. Those who doesn't work a lot, they're the ones enjoying our taxes. They're enjoying the benefits. But what I'm trying to say here, because they got what they need, it's hard for them to call on the name of the Lord. So those people who got what they got, what they need,
me who got lots of money, who got lots of uh, pounds in their account. They say they are rich, they are wealthy, they, they, they don't need of anything. They are the lukewarm people. If you say, I don't need the Lord, you are lukewarm. Why? Because in John chapter 15 verse 5, without Him, we can do nothing. Amen. 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 Okay. They have no need of anything. I mentioned that as well. They do not know that they are rich. Right? Bisaya na naman ako. They are rich. Bisaya na naman. They are miserable. Floor mentioned about 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 19. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if you pick it up. If your hope in the Lord is in this world only, you are the most pitiable person. Sa Tagalog pa, ikaw na ang pinakakawawa sa lahat ng tao sa mundo. Amen? Okay? In, uh, it's there as well. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable. And the good one people are the poor ones. Let me see the hands of the rich ones. Rich of Okay, let me show you one verse. In Revelation chapter 2 verse 9, I know your words, the tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. You might say, I am poor, I am I am below poverty, but I'm telling you, and the word God of God tells us that although you are poor, you are rich in His eyes. Amen. Amen. Let me see the hands of those who are rich. <laughs> okay. The lukewarm people are the blind as well. They're blind. The Lord said to the Pharisees, you blind guides. You cannot, you cannot guide the blinds yourself because you yourselves are blind. Yeah. Amen. Okay. So it is not because you can see uh, without defect, you can see perfectly with your two eyes that in the eyes of the Lord you are not blind. You could be blind in the eyes of the Lord. That's why in Colossians chapter 1 verse 14, the people in darkness has been transported from darkness to the kingdom of the glorious light of the gospel. That's why in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18, Paul says, I'm praying to God that the eyes of your understanding will be opened. 